Orlando Islands of Adventure and people are always asking me if I've been to this park and now I have. It finally happened. We yeah, it's an amazing, beautiful place. Yeah. We started off our morning with Spider-Man, which was incredible. And like, I'm not really into Spider-Man, but I still thought the ride was really cool. Um, if you've been on the Justice League rides at Six Flags, it's kind of similar to that, like stylistically, and like the yeah. ride, like. It's not a shooting dark ride, but it's still yeah. just so cool. Like all the effects that they do. Yeah, I definitely found myself like screaming and like covering my face and stuff. Yeah. You know, it's all like simulated, but that means it's a, it's a good ride. It was really cool. We are about to get in line for this bad boy. Double check your power. Okay, coffee will be much greater. There's a possibility you can die. one of the best b &Ms I've ever been That on. was really good. It was so forceful. Like from the first inversion to like the a little bit after the first loop, I was like, I was blacked out, honestly. <laughs> like I could not keep my eyes open. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it could be because I also didn't drink that much water this morning. My bad. Yeah, it is, it's starting to get hot today too. It's yeah. It's like the mid 90s. There is a water fountain right like after you exit. So if you're like me. And yeah. And shout out to their, <laughs> shout out the uh, Hulk operations crew because they had such, like they were working so fast and it was amazing. Yeah, their crew was really good. It was like 30 second dispatches. They're very much on top of things here. Yeah. This area is pretty cool. Alright, so we just rode the King Kong ride. It was a walk on, and we were walking past, we were like, we might as well. But yeah, I wouldn't wait that long for it. Like, it was cool for what it was. It's very screen based. There's one part where there's like screens on both sides of you. So it's kind of hard to pay attention to what's going on on both screens. For a better view, I definitely recommend sitting on one of the ends because that's where you can see the, the action more. But yeah, we're taking a break and I think we're gonna we're gonna walk past the Lost Coast. You might get tempted, but I think the plan right now is to go to Harry Potter first. Um, but who knows? We might get sidetracked. getting sidetracked we went on the Jurassic River adventure I don't know if that's the exact name yeah Jurassic Park the water ride you know which one I'm talking about but anyways we as you can see we got wet got wet <laughs> um, luckily I think our phones and cameras are okay and everything um, I think our luck on the short wait times might be starting to run out though it's yeah. about an hour that the park's been open so far. And we've done four rides. Yeah, which is pretty ones. good. I just saw the castle for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> but like in it's person. Really cool. So we waited about like, it was basically a walk on for Jurassic Park. But Kong ride is basically walking through the queue. But we just saw a sign about of like the wait times. I think was, as we start moving into Harry Potter territory, we might have a little more waiting to do but we still have like the whole day i'm not like too worried about crowds because even though it is like universal it doesn't seem packed so yeah. we're walking into harry potter this i'm very excited for that's pretty incredible i'm glad i watched at least one of the movies before coming here Alright, I think we're heading to Forbidden Journey. What a dreadful thing to say, Salazar. A few muggles might be just what the Slytherin team needs, judging from their most recent efforts. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly 
When was the last time your house won the Quidditch Cup, son? Alright, we just did Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. So that's the one that's inside the castle, which is so cool because the queue you walk like through the castle. Yeah, and it was through so many yeah, different parts. It's really awesome. It's a really cool ride experience. I do say like I usually don't get motion sick on rides, but that one did like make me a little bit queasy. So if that's something you experience, definitely like watch out for that. But if you're a Harry Potter fan, like it's so cool. It's definitely something it's a that like you have to do, yeah. restaurant for lunch. Food looks really good. I'm very excited to eat it. But before we eat it, we did ride Hagrid's. We, we rode it twice actually so we could both sit in the um, motorcycle cars. And it was very cool. The, the effects and like all the launches and the drop track, the reverse section. Oh, I should have given a spoiler alert. Anyways, yeah. The theming was really cool, like the ride tech was really impressive. Yeah, I don't know. Definitely, like, thrill wise, to not like like it as much as well. But yeah, it feels like a family, like, thrill kind of yeah. thing. Like, it's still like some of the launches and turns and drops are like intense. Yeah. It's not as forceful as all the we haven't lost a coach yet. Yeah. I'm sure that was I think that might be the uh, after lunch plan. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, but I think. Really yeah. I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, dig in. like blown away feeling that I've gotten on some other rides but it's definitely good that's not to say it's not bad I just don't think I like it as other things I've been on good ride Like they're uh, doing some work up there. Who knows what? Oh. 
renovation. Hmm. I don't know. I wonder if you can see like the construction from in there. I love the trees. The Lorax trees. Alrighty, we have done a few more things. We had a bit of rain. Actually, when it was raining, we were on um, Ripsaw Falls. Yeah. So it was and an like, extra we, water ride. We were getting soaked on that ride and it was pouring. Like, yeah. While we were going through, so. I mean, we did expect to get wet. Maybe not that wet, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> After that, we went to Hulk and rode in the front row, which yeah. still slaps. Like, that ride is awesome. That is a great ride. That one, I think, exceeded my expectations. Where Velocicoaster definitely met my expectations, but like, yeah. I don't know if it like blew me away as much as I thought it would. I don't know. Interesting. We did get to ride in the front row of most of the major roller coasters, which was cool. Um, which was I, I was not really expecting. But, yeah, we were lucky uh, yeah. to get that, especially for Hagrid's because like mm -hmm. you don't really get to choose your row. Yeah. Uh, moving station there. Uh, to keep things moving. Yeah. But, like Velocicoaster and Hulk. If you ask, you can probably get it. Yeah. The ride ups here, everyone is so nice, and so friendly. Yeah. And yeah. And like efficient, the yeah. Are great. They definitely know what they're doing here, which is really nice. Um, we just walked through Seuss Landing just to check it out. We did ride Cat in the Hat, which I think you honestly have to be like on a hallucinogen to understand. <laughs> I don't know, or just read the book, I guess. I really don't know. It's pretty wacky. <laughs> it is. Uh, it is interesting for sure. Um, I think we're going to head to City Walk to eat dinner. And then probably come back in the park and get some more rides on Velocicoaster. Yeah, do some, some more night rides. Night rides yeah. Um, so I think we are going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more Orlando content. Mm -hmm.